Well, unironically, after I spend about $600 to fix my 2001 Ford Taurus, uh, we are not so lucky. And, you know, on a car that's only worth $1,000, 2001 Ford Taurus, even though the mileage is relatively low, around 90,000 now, there's no way this isn't going to be totaled. You know, to replace the bumper, the hood, all the damage in here, you know, even if it's minor, there is no way this is going to be any less than two or three thousand uh, dollars. So I guess this is just going to be a matter of uh, how much of a check the insurance company wants to write me for this hunk of crap. You know, I bought new snow tires for the car. It's a little dented, but you know, for a 20 year old car, you know, it's in really good shape and I was hoping to drive it for, you know, another year or two just to save up some money for a new car. So it's Saturday end of February I don't know the exact date and this is actually the day before I was planning on uh, filming a video uh, for the Monday uh, just to kind of like return to YouTube hopefully and I'm gonna be posting this after that video because I don't want you know this to be you know the first video uh, that, that you guys see but it kind of is a, a testament to how everything's been going lately you know I'm kind of just you know, so disappointed and over everything. I wasn't even paying attention on the highway. You know, I actually told myself, you know, because I wasn't really focused, you know, that I, I probably shouldn't drive. I should probably take a cab or something home and then not do anything else today. Uh, but unfortunately, I decided to, I had to drive over to Queens to drop something off, which is, you know, normal. I usually drive around the boroughs a couple times a week. And uh, this time I was going maybe 30 or 40 miles per hour on the Whitestone Bridge and that connects the Bronx to Queens. I don't really know if the guy stopped short, but uh, you know, the lane to the left of me was clear, the lane to the right of me was clear. You know, just the lane I happened to be in was going slow. And since I wasn't paying attention, um, I, I hit the guy going like maybe 25, 30 miles per hour. I hit my brakes, but the 2001 Ford Taurus. If it, was, if it was a new car, I wouldn't have gotten in an accident because even if I hit the brakes as late as I did, you know, they would have actually worked but you know going downhill in that heavy car two-wheel drive snow tires just rained car car wasn't going to stop in time unfortunately so you guys heard yesterday you know i've been down in the every day trying to keep frankie syringe meet up and running and this is just going to make things a little more difficult uh, hopefully my dad lets me drive his car a couple days uh, i don't know if i should rent a car or uh, I, just, I mean, I obviously have to find a new car as soon as possible, but until that happens, I, you know, I need something to drive every day. It's not like I'm hanging out at home doing nothing. I guess we could take another look at the car damage. I honestly don't have enough mechanical knowledge to know if, you know, it would be safe to drive this car another 40, 50 miles. Now, judging by how, you know, the whole block here is hidden, I would guess no. Uh, you know, I don't really think any fluids leaking out of the bottom I don't see anything uh, everything is kind of jacked up in here you know it wasn't just you know the hood you know it did you know kind of dent everything back you know, this over here over here you know so with my limited mechanical knowledge car definitely isn't safe to drive with my slightly with my slightly higher knowledge of body damage from past accidents, uh, definitely need to buy a new car because the insurance company is not gonna fix this. I, I don't know what they're actually gonna value the car at, to be honest. Uh, either way, they're not gonna fix it. But you know, outside of the, you know, the scratches on the sides of the car, you know, it's in really, really good shape. You know, I was hoping to take this for another 100,000 miles, well, maybe, maybe 50,000 miles. You know, I just replaced you know the struts you know look th these struts here this is all new i just replaced all the front brakes it's all new inside i replaced the ball joints i replaced you know the power steering pump i just put you know 700 dollars into this car at the worst time possible but it's whatever this is kind of weird because i got an email from cars and bids yesterday uh, which i didn't realize i even signed up for and they were selling a car that i was looking for for a while because it's actually the lowest emf car it's a 1981 Mercedes uh, 300D, uh, but there's actually a, a 250D model as well, which is lower horsepower. And they had this all stock 
Mercedes 250D available for sale. I think it ended up going for $12,000, uh, and it only had like 30,000 miles, which actually wasn't that bad. It's just, you know, a 250D isn't uh, a safe car to really drive now. Even the 300D would be kind of risky. I mean, the 0 to 60 of the 300D might be close to my 2001 Ford Taurus, but, you know, compared to most cars now, it's not really safe merging on a highway in, you know, a 1980s uh, diesel vehicle. But I'm going to go look online later to see if there are any uh, diesel trucks available around that year with low mileage uh, that are close to me. I just, you know, buying a car was the last thing I planned on doing um, at this point in time. I mean, can I go to the junkyard, get a hood, get the front left headlight? I don't really know. It looks like there's too much interior damage. No, I bet if you did a really ghetto job of fixing this, like you went to the junkyard, you parted out the front bumper, the headlight, the hood, you know, it probably only cost you a few hundred dollars in parts, but I, I can't imagine the amount of labor to, to take all this apart. It probably wouldn't even be worth it. I would guess this is at least, you know, 15, 20, 30 hours of, of mechanical work to take the hood off, take the bumper off, take the headlight off, put every, just put everything on. You know, the only thing I'm really worried about is buying a new car and by new car, I mean a used car because there's no way I'm actually buying a brand new car and then having mechanical issues with that one. And, you know, I always told myself that I'm not going to buy a nice car until I go for a year or two without getting into an accident in New York City. But this is uh, this is like the second major accident I've been in in my entire life. Uh, or well, third actually, third major accident where the car is basically totaled, and I'm I'm you're getting close to 30 now, which I don't think is too bad. Uh, the other accidents that prevented me from getting a car were just like fender benders, like if I bumped into a car or someone scratched my car, I would count that as like all right, I obviously don't want to buy a new car, but you know, just you know, working down here, not sleeping that well, tired all the time. You know, I didn't eat today. Just not too enthusiastic. It's bound to get into some accidents. So it's been about an hour. I called up insurance company, tow company, body shop, and I found out that I don't have collision insurance on this vehicle. So I'm under my parents' umbrella policy. This is actually, you know, registered in my dad's name. So I didn't know the specifics on the policy. And then when I called them up, they told me, hey, you don't have collision insurance on that vehicle, which basically means you're not covered. So what's going to happen is they're going to send this car to the body shop. They're going to tell me it's something crazy like $3,000 to fix it, which is worth more than the car. Uh, so I, you know, at least I'm not out that much money. You know, the car is worth, you know, maybe $1,000, $1,500. And then the, uh, just the few hundred dollars I invested to fix it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, the only issue is, you know, for me to find a car, at a thousand dollars two thousand dollars that's this reliable is, is incredibly 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 unlikely you know i'm probably gonna have to spend money i don't have on uh on a new car so we can't fix this there's probably some internal damage so uh, even if we could go to a junk shop and get the bumper the hood and the headlamp it's just not worth it at this point uh tow trucks here uh so i guess we'll wrap this up so it's Wednesday of the next week. The crash was five days ago on Friday. Uh, I went down on Monday to look at the Taurus, see what the damage was. And, you know, when I had the accident, it was kind of dark outside. I couldn't really see, you know, the inside of the hood too well. And at that mechanic shop, super bright, super sunny, took one look, whole radiator uh, holder was cracked. The suspension, car is definitely totaled. They can't fix the Taurus. So... I guess this is the end of Frankie Boy's 2001 Ford Taurus. Uh, so tomorrow I'm going to go down, uh, give them the title of the car. I'm going to salvage it for maybe $500. I could get the snow tires taken off and, and sell the other tires. It's just not really worth, you know, what are they worth? 100 150 bucks, And then I got to negotiate with the salvage yard, get the tires off down there. But it's not worth it. Uh, over this week, though, I had to rent a car. So behind me, I have... Uh, 2021 Chevy Malibu <laughs> and guys after driving a 2001 Ford Taurus going into a, a 2021 Chevy Malibu you feel like you're in a race car uh, granted I had a headache most of the time because there's actually an antenna in the car it has its own Wi-Fi hotspot and that's the problem with 
uh, newer cars is the, the EMF levels, uh, the magnetic, electric, as well as radio frequency fields can be very, very, very high. So I've been looking for an older car and I already got one. This is a 2009 Honda CRV, complete steel, 53,000 miles. I paid $8,000 for it. $8,000. These retail for 25K. And normally when you buy a used car that's like seven, eight, nine, ten years old that has low mileage, usually paying about you know 40 to 50 percent of the new price car, this was one quarter. This was by far the best deal out of any low mileage car I saw online. By far. If you look up 2009 Honda CRV on any trader website, you'll see cars with like 70, 80K miles listed for 12, 13, 14,000. So I really lucked out on getting this car. 8,000 cash, nothing extra, nothing else. Maybe you have to put a few more hundred dollars into it, but you know, I'll just, I'll just pay that off on my credit card, you know, hopefully over the next year or so. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm going to get the plates this weekend. Um, I, I did really want to uh, get a nicer car, you know, in, in the name of the business, but you know, the way things are going financially now and the chances of, you know, something happening to the car in the Bronx, I figured this was perfect. You know, it's four wheel drive. It's safe. The heat works. Oh, that's the other thing. You know, the, the, the 2001 Taurus, the heat didn't work. So this 2021 Chevy Malibu with the heated seats and the heat was working and I was actually warm and the brakes work. It's just can't, cannot drive an old car. You know, by no means is a 2021 Chevy Malibu, a luxury vehicle. By no means is a, a 2009 Honda CRV, a luxury vehicle, but compared to a 2001 Ford Taurus that has broken heat, busted AC, like not even comparable. So hopefully this car lasts me more than a year or two, but we'll see. Uh, that's gonna be the update for now. So uh, we unfortunately have to say bye-bye to Frankie Boy's 2001 Ford Taurus. So. I can't make that joke anymore. I don't know what the new joke's going to be. Uh, I guess we'll joke about how I need money to spend on Russian girls to beat me up. Uh, so, yeah, one thing I didn't really talk about in this video is, oh, yeah, well, um, thankfully um, I'm okay. I didn't get hurt, but uh, apparently someone wants me to be here too badly.